What do you think is the worst kind of plastic? Well, it's styrofoam. In fact, only 1% of the 14 million tons of styrofoam produced yearly are recycled. The rest stays untouched, causing threats on human health and the environment. As a result, governments are endorsing bans and restrictions on styrofoam, disrupting normal shipping procedures, and forcing businesses to find an alternative solution. This is why we combined agricultural waste that we source from local farmers and mushroom roots, the mycelium, that we grow in-house to form mushtik, mushroom plastic, a replacement for this styrofoam. Not only does our product share the same properties in terms of heat and water tolerance and shock resistance, it is also 100% biodegradable. The pictures you see here show the evolution of our prototypes, which keep improving day after day. Now, the styrofoam market in the MENA region is valued at $2.29 billion. However, we will start by tackling 19% of this market, which is used for packaging applications. Mushtik will start by selling two standardized products, the panels and packing peanuts, to businesses such as shipping and moving companies and distributors. After demonstrating our prototypes to several potential clients, we have signed letters of intent who those of who found a need satisfied by Mushtik. For example, Aramex was having troubles with the growing styrofoam bands, while to Anai Lebanese wine wanted a better material to protect the quality of his wine. What makes us special is that we are the first movers in the MENA region. Both our process and raw material are all natural, and that our end product can be customizable, all the while being biodegradable. Recently, Mushtik is competing with conventional packaging, such as styrofoam and cardboard, compared to which we have more shock resistance and more eco-friendliness. Compared to our direct American competitors, we will be entering a different market with different products, the panels and peanuts. The environmental heroes behind all this work are Lama, who is leading the R&D, Sherbel, who focuses on business development, and myself, Ryan, in charge of operations. Our team is also being supported in terms of industrial technology, finance, R&D, and business. Together, so far, we have invested $57,000 for market and product validation, setup of our website, and basic equipment for our process. Today, we are looking to raise $100,000 to finalize our product, test and certify it, and start producing our first batch for our confirmed potential partners. So please, join us at our booth to discover more about all this mushroom-based packaging and know how to protect your product while protecting the environment. Thank you.